Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. This is Anonymous T. Hope you're having an amazing day today. So today we need to discuss Jay-Z's Oscars after party, the gold party that um, him and Beyonce throw every year. So there's some controversy because they had it at a venue that has experienced a lot of lawsuits especially during the pandemic of racism of um, racial discrimination against their employees and the article came out before the oscars right that they were holding this oscars bash um at this establishment that basically is known to be racist right and so they still end up having it. And, you know, it reads from TMZ. It says, Jay-Z Oscars after party brings out celebs and dozens of protesters. Jay-Z's after party for the Oscars was definitely one to remember because some of Hollywood's biggest names had to make their way through angry protesters to get inside. The mogul threw his gold party at the famed Chateau Marmont in West Hollywood where folks like Rihanna, Saweetie, Kim Kardashian and Diddy were greeted by frustrated former employees of the hotel who claimed they were mistreated by management. Other guests include Winnie Harlow, John Hamm, Khloe Kardashian, French Montana, Zoe Kravitz, Troy Kotzer, and the first deaf man winning an acting Oscar. Um, and then there's some videos as well as some angry protesters that raised their voice and signs claimed that they worked in a toxic work environment with racial discrimination and the owner Andre Balaz abandoned more than 200 fired employees during the coronavirus pandemic. Leading up to the soiree, Jay-Z received backlash for the venue and was urged to move the party. Clearly that didn't happen and the party went on as planned. Yeah, I have an issue with this, you guys. This is just as bad as the celebs that were going to um, the slave play and everything else. Like, what are we doing? Why are we going to establishments that are not for us, that are racist, that, you know, have all of these issues? And it's like, it's it's weird because so many of these celebs were like all about the Black Lives Matter movement, were all about being pro-black, even catering like their art to, you know, promote Black Lives Matter. And then it's like once all of that kind of, you know, dissipated or what have you, or people moved on to the next thing a lot of these black celebrities slowly went back to these racist white people that you know they claim to be against they claim that they didn't you know have a stake in the game and i'm just disappointed at these celebs like why did you guys go what why did you guys have to have the party at this venue like and and that's the thing the owner knows that by having Jay-Z and Beyonce there, that looks good for him, right? Because then that makes it look like, oh, I'm not racist. Look at my black celebrity friends. And that's the problem that I have, right? You literally have people outside in the middle of the night, all night, protesting these Oscar parties for this particular venue, over 200 fired employees who've experienced all kinds of racism, all kinds of discrimination, and they knew prior to the Oscars about this venue and the backlash that this was going to ensue. And I just don't understand why people still went or why Jay-Z couldn't move the venue somewhere. Because you're trying to tell me that Jay-Z couldn't hold his Oscars bash at any other location, that it had to be at the location, coincidentally, that there are all these lawsuits about racial, you know, discrimination, about racism, about a toxic work environment, and you're supposed to, you know, be here for the people and this and that, but then what? where's the same energy? Just like you said, for us to boycott the NFL and boycott the Super Bowl, and now you're their event talent coordinator. <laughs> like, make it make sense. Like, like I, I just, I just need to understand what, what was the end game here? What is so special about having the Oscars bash at this particular venue when you are a celebrity, you can spend thousands of dollars and throw any type of soiree anywhere in Hollywood. And I'm sure people would still attend. But this thing where people, you know, and this is the problem too, is people get obsessed with certain labels, certain establishments, and they want to be there. They think, 
okay, if I'm invited to, you know, this particular venue, that means I made it, regardless if the person is racist or problematic. And we have to do better, you guys. We have to do better because this should have got way more backlash than it did. Will Smith slapping Chris Rock really has, you know, everybody should be thanking Will Smith right now because a lot of these people would be getting dragged. This would have been headline news, right? Because there was backlash prior to the Oscars. Because I remember um, reading about it and reading the articles. And I was confused as to why, if all of these articles were coming out before the Oscars, why Jay-Z just didn't change the venue. But I think it's at the point now where just certain black celebrities don't care, right? They don't care if they are hanging out with racists anymore. They don't care if they are representing, um, you know, racist establishments because whatever kickback is in it for them is going to supersede and trump anything else. And that's just a that's a problem. You know. Just like Jay-Z CEO of Rock Nation, you know, Trump pardoned her. So that's why you didn't hear Jay-Z say anything about, you know, this last election and, you know, Trump running for re-election, everything else. Because he was pardoning, you know, his CEO of Rock Nation. So it's like it all, you know, it's like, it, here's the thing. We have to do better to where we're just going to ignore racism and prejudice and problematic people if there's something in it to benefit you. But that makes you look like a hypocrite. That makes you look like you're really not for the people. And that as long as you are, you know, multimillionaires and billionaires, you don't care about you know what you're representing right no matter how racist or anything else but this is the same person right who told us to boycott cristal remember to boycott cristal because they were racist the same 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 person right so it, it's it's just i mean just tell us that you are you know money and kickbacks for you are the most important and and we can all move on and be happy right instead of trying to preach to us and tell us all these things and tell us what we need to be doing but then you are you know holding oscar parties at where there's literally people outside with picket signs and protesting literally people with active lawsuits against this particular establishment because of racism because of toxic work environment and discrimination against these employees and you're like nope i'm still gonna have all these celebrities show up i'm still gonna have my party here i don't care about these people blah 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 i know the owner the owner's gonna give me this kickback so who cares and and that's the problem we have to stop letting people who are problematic use us to say, hey, I know this black person, I'm friends with this black person, to hide behind their racism and their problematic, um, you know, actions that they have done. We have to stop doing that. You have to stop letting yourself be used as a pawn and used to promote your name and Beyonce's name because they know by promoting your name and Beyonce's name, that is going to bring people to the venue. That is going to bring business to his establishment. So I'm just very frustrated because I feel as though like it didn't have to be like this. We didn't have to, you know, go this route or what have you. And, you know, they could have had it anywhere in Hollywood, you guys. They could have had this after party anywhere. So let me know your guys' thoughts. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're no notified the moment I post no content on my channel. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys again very soon.